Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome to Divers Ready. We're back once again with another in our series of quick tips where I try and pack as much of my scuba diving knowledge as possible into a video five minutes or less. So we do away with the flashy B-roll sequences and all of the jokes and we just get down to the nitty gritty. In this week's instalment, we are talking about how to mount accessories onto a backplate and wing setup. This is a viewer requested video. I uh, hope you get a lot out of it. Let's go. If you're new here, please make your next dive on that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it really helps us out to keep making this content with one simple goal in mind, to help make you a better scuba diver. Now, a little while ago, I made a video going through my selections for each of my accessories that I take on every single recreational dive. And in the comments of that video, somebody put down that they wanted to see my solutions for mounting accessories on a backplate and wing. So I figured why not give the people what they want? Here we go. I have all my accessories laid out here. I have my SMB, my compass, my reel, so on and so forth. And I have a backplate and wing set up here. Apex PSD wing, standard backplate, single piece webbed harness, uh, pretty much standard issue. First thing we gotta do is tidy up the regulator. So there's a bolt snap on the end of the gauge, which just goes on to the left hip D-ring and the octopus needs mounting somewhere. So all I do for that is I take a U, I bring it under my primary, and I'm just gonna tuck that up through that D-ring there, okay? Now that takes that D-ring out of commission. I'm not gonna clip anything else to that, otherwise it'll trap the octopus and make it not quick release. Uh, apart from that, this is my Weiss regulator, so that inflator hose is a little bit too short, as you can probably see from there, but whatever, this is just a demonstration. My regulator has the correct length hose on it. So let's start mounting some accessories, starting with the one accessory I never dive without, the DSMB. How do you mount this on a backplate and wing? There's no pockets to shove it in. I don't really want to use a bolt snap and clip it off, otherwise we're going to end up looking like a Christmas tree underwater with this thing hanging off of us. So very simply, I make two little loops of bungee that just have an overhand knot in like this. And all I'm going to do is pull that bungee out and thread my SMB over the top. There's one at the top there. There's another one at the bottom. And as you can see from that, is nice and secure now. Next up, as I mentioned a couple of weeks ago when we were talking about lights, I have a light I dive with on every recreational dive. It just has a bolt snap on the end of it tied with a caver knot. That goes onto my left chest D-ring. And then what I'm gonna do is take a bungee, or in this case, a piece of elastic, and just feed that over the top of the light. So when I square that bungee out and away and pull that tight, that is not dangling anywhere. That is how I have my light mounted onto my shoulder strap like that. And also that bungee prevents the light from being turned on accidentally. I have to unclip it, take it out, and then turn the, uh, the flashlight on. Next up, we have my reel. What to do with the reel? Well, this is the AP Diving Buddy reel. A lot of you guys asked where you can buy it, and I said that in an earlier video that it wasn't available in the US. I stand corrected. You can buy it from silentdiving.com. A lot of people commented on that. Thanks for all those that helped the other divers out. I don't always have that wrist lander on there, but it's nice for hanging off of a bag on a drift dive. Just gives you a little bit of cushioning. Again, recreational setup, not tech setup, before you all start jumping in. And you're gonna see on my male end of my waist strap, another D-ring there, and that just clips off like so. All right, we're looking pretty good. Uh, next up, we need to mount a knife option. So this has a two inch webbing band. I could slide it onto either of my chest straps, uh, but I'm not a big fan of that. So what I do instead is just mount it through my computer strap. Now, I know what you're gonna be thinking now. Uh, yeah, but if you put it on your computer strap, you can only reach it with one hand. Uh, what about if you get entangled with that hand and you can't reach for your cutting tool? That's a perfectly valid point, but you've got to remember that I'm talking about recreational diving here. When I do a tech dive and a penetration dive or any dive where there's the chance of me getting seriously entangled, I'm going to be carrying two cutting tools. So I'll have one on each side of the waist belt or one on my primary and redundant computer so I can reach one with either hand, um, or I'll have cutting tools mounted up on top. But for a recreational dive where I'm not going deep inside a wreck and it's not you know super scary, I'm mainly carrying this just to do reef cleanup. 
So that goes on the underside of my computer. My computer, the Shearwater Petrol, always wrist mounted. I don't go for any kind of console computers. My theory being that if you have a wrist mounted computer, uh, you're gonna look at it more often. Looking at your computer more often is always a good idea. So easy cut cutting device on the back of my dive computer. Nice and easy there. Next up, I have an analog compass for recreational dive navigation, nice and easy. Not that I don't trust electronic compasses. Again, I just find these easier to use uh, the way we were all taught how to use a com compass. So just a very simple wrist mounted analog compass on the other wrist that I'm wearing my computer on a recreational dive. And last but not least, I have my GoPro. This is a Hero 7. I think I mentioned in other videos as well that I always carry a camera when I'm diving with students. It's a little bit of a controversial topic, should you, shouldn't you? Yes, you should, as long as it doesn't become the focus of the dive. There is nothing wrong with an instructor taking some photos of their student for memorabilia sake. There is nothing wrong with shooting video of your students to give them feedback, uh, but don't make the camera the focus of the dive if you have people you're in the water responsible for. Um, a couple of people asked, what is the mount that I use for this camera? So if I just remove the GoPro from it, it's made by a company called Telesin. Tele Telesin? Telesin, I don't know. Let's have a look at it over there. Um, and I found it on Amazon. It was like about 12 bucks. I'll put a link in the description below. And it's meant for backpacks. So harness strap, exactly the same width as a backpack, two inches, nice and easy. That just Velcros on. I put it up kind of high and then the GoPro clips in there. And then when I'm wearing this rig, I've done many a giant stride off of some very high boats and have never lost the camera. Touch wood so far. Slap some fins on my feet, mask on my face, and I'm ready to go diving. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this, the latest in our quick tip series of videos. Um, that's how I mount my accessories when I am diving a back plate and wing on a recreational dive. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and let me know in the comments below what quick tips video should we make next. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, my name's James. This was your Divers Ready video for this week. Dive safe, dive often. <laughs>